Okay, this is going to be the startup and running wattage of this particular model of the 6000 BTU window air conditioner. I don't know if you saw that, but it jumped up to about 120 when the fan first kicked on. Then it drops down to about 72 to 75 while just the fan is running. And when the compressor kicks on, it'll probably jump up to about 500 right away and then drop down to 425 and then slowly increase to around 500. There goes the compressor. Now it's only about 90 degrees outside right now, so it's not going to use as much juice as it would say at 107. Again, this is for the Dandy 6000 BTU window air conditioner. You see I have it set on 79 degrees to make sure it kicked on. I have seen it use as much as 550 to 560, but again, that's only when it's 107, 108 degrees outside, and the sun is shining directly on the outside of it. Even though I have it kind of in the shade, it's not completely in the shade during the later part of the afternoon. But if you notice, it never jumped up to 1,000 or 1,500 watts right off the bat. Never even got to 500 right off the bat. So whether this has a built-in soft start or whatever they want to call it, there it got around 400 and like I said it will slowly climb up and I imagine with the temperature today it will get up to around 450. We'll see. So let me take a couple minutes to give you an idea how much energy this thing really uses in startup and running wattage. And I'll have a cycle once or twice get an idea what that does to it. This seems to be the perfect window air conditioner for off-grid use because it doesn't jump up and suck all the juice out of the inverter or the batteries or whatever right off the bat. My old air conditioner, which was only a 5,000, I had a hard time getting it to run with a 2,000 watt generator because the initial surge kickstart would almost shut the generator off. This one would have ran great on it. See, it's up pushing 440 now. It'll take its time getting up to the full wattage. Feels great right now, though. It's nice and cool.
and I got this air conditioner from Home Depot for only 260 bucks. As I said, it's the Danby 6000 BTU window air conditioner, 12.1 sear. It might not cycle off because I have all the windows open. Cycle it off if I can. That's the hottest, warmest temperature it goes to is 86. So it may take a minute or two to get it to cycle off. And then I will edit out most of the off time. So that'll be kind of short. And then I'll start it back up again when it kicks back on. You can see again how little juice it actually sucks. Again, I have seen it go up over 560, but that was when it was really hot and the sun was beating directly on it. Now it's kind of in the shade. There, see it cycle off. And these kilowatt meters are instantaneous, so if it jumped up to like 1100 watts on startup, it would show it immediately. Even for just a split second, it would show it. I'll turn it back down. But while it's running in my cabin, it normally is on for less than five minutes and it's off for less than five minutes. And it's on for less than five and off for less than five. It just keeps cycling like that depending on the temperature I have it set on and how hot it is outside. And that's the way it works. It doesn't surge and put a real strain on your power system. Beautiful little air conditioner works great in here. It's good for up to 250 square feet and this is just slightly less than a 200 square foot cabin. So. Looks beautiful in here. And that is the startup and running wattage of a Danby 6000 BTU window air conditioner.